Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh, your incredibly handsome science teacher. And in this video, we're going to talk about how energy, uh, well, some ways that energy moves through and around the universe. We know that energy is the ability to do work, uh, meaning that it is it allows objects essentially to move. It allows things to happen in the universe. We also know that energy cannot be created and it cannot be destroyed. All of the energy in the universe has been here since the beginning and will be here until the end. Well, if that's the case, if energy can't be created and destroyed, but uh, we need it to make things happen, then there has to be a way for energy to move around. Otherwise, it would just be trapped where it is, right? So energy has to be able to move through the universe. How does it do that? How does energy move around? How does it get from one object to another. In another video, we talk about how energy can be transferred when one object bumps into another one and it hands off energy. And this is one way that energy moves, but it's not the only way that energy moves throughout the universe. Other ways also uh, allow energy to move, such as, for example, light. Light is a form of uh, energy moving through the universe. It moves from very, very fast at the speed of light from one place to another in waves of photons. Another way that energy moves is as sound. Sound as I talk, my voice is creating the muscles in my vocal cords are vibrating and that energy from the food I ate is vibrating the muscles in my vocal cords, and that's creating waves, sound waves in the air that are traveling from uh, my mouth to your ear, essentially, although in this case, actually to a computer microphone and then to a speaker and then back out from the speaker to your ears. But, you know, pretend you're in the same room as me. Okay. Um, uh, another way that uh, energy can move is as electricity. We see this when lightning strikes or in wires. We send energy through wires in the form of electricity. Heat is another form of energy. Whenever you stand near a fire or any other source of heat and you put your hand up and you're like, ooh, that's nice and cozy. That's nice and warm. You are filling the energy as it moves through the, uh, from the source, through space essentially, and then eventually to your hands. So however it moves, whether it's as light or it's as sound or it's as electricity or heat or mechanically by one object bumping into another object, energy can be moved from place to place so that work can happen all over the universe. An asteroid floating through the solar system is using energy. Energy is in that asteroid allowing it to move around and around and around. If it bumps into another asteroid, then it's going to pass off some of its energy to the other asteroid. And maybe it's going to slow down a little bit, but the other asteroid is going to speed up a little bit or whatever. Okay, somehow their, the balance of their energy is going to change as they interact with each other. And this transfer of energy from one place to another, as I said a minute ago, allows all of the work in the universe that needs to happen to occur. <laughs> Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted 
and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes, all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your uh, your science student. So sign up, subscribe to the channel, and I release lots of videos. Also, in addition to these ones, lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics. Those ones you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos, and they're much more targeted, and those ones are scripted, so you don't have to hear me like you are right now going blah, blah, blah. The end. Uh, subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.